everyone, this is Darva Prower. Welcome to Darva Prower's Game Quest. It's the new Super Mario Brothers. They have bird suits, and with me I have two of my roommates, uh, Ursa and Hofklift. You could probably only hear one of them. Anyway, um... Uh, wait, 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 wait. Crap. I have to... I have to use a... Damn it. Yeah, it won't let me play. Oh man. With you can't play head game controls. Well actually you can be the platform guy. I don't wanna be the platform guy, god damn it. I I need to be the guy. I need to be Mario. I'll be the platform guy. I'd rather be the platform guy. Okay. Um I may or may not actively attempt. You know what, that's actually more interesting than having three people, because this game barely works with... Oh, okay, I'll be Luigi. Yeah. Player one always has to be Mario, it's not okay if there's no Mario. But that's good, because I get to be Luigi, and I, was, I had to be Mario in all of the last one I did. Because I only had one second player. God damn it, you're, Mario! You need to, you have the red hat. You gotta make decisions. I'm just gonna call you Sean and Terrence because it's too hard. Nobody knows what you are on the internet. This is recording properly, right? Oh yeah, only six dropped frames so far. So anyway, I was all set to have another boring story where, oh, you steal the princess and what's going on, but then the first of many changes I like. What? <laughs> yeah, that's what, that, yeah, what, what? That's crazy. That, that grab didn't work the way I thought that would be that. Shh, Sean, don't worry about the things. Unfortunately. The serious radiation problem in the Mushroom Kingdom keeps mutating stuff into being symbiotic with mushrooms. Yeah, this is the first Mario game since like Super Mario World with good level design. Or maybe good world design. So I like the little personalized airships. And this this is when I realized this is gonna be the best new Super Mario Brothers game. When when the world map actually had more than one thing on it at a time. It's beautiful, it looks like Mario World with less or with more linearity, but um Okay, okay, okay. Terrence, you have to impale that guy so Sean can get that acorn. So yeah, this is the bird suit. You can fly with it. It's a controversial choice. God, this is so... You're devaluing... Think of how much inflation you're causing. Okay, let me get that. Let me get that box. Okay, yeah, so they hit a bunch of random stuff in this game. What the hell, is that a ghost oh star? What does a ghost star do? Ghost star! What, what? Zombie ghost star! Are you oh, invincible? Oh, that's great! Oh, okay, now that guy, our, our guy, can kill enemies by tapping them. This is amazing! Alright. So the only real guide elements you could have in a Mario game are fighting the secrets because most of it's just platforming. Um, so yeah, that was the first star coin. Hopefully this helped you if you were really lost and looking for that star coin. Um, whoops. Okay, I screwed up. That was supposed to go up there. I can cheat! I have the, the bird suit. Yeah. I need to go in that pipe. Wait, 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 is this the downpipe? No, 
Okay. Well, somewhere there's a pipe that has the second star coin in it, and I kept missing it the first time I was running through this level, so... Oh, God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I got things <laughs> Oh my god, I can just revive you whenever I want. Terrence, do you remember where the second star coin was in this level? It was down a pipe, I just don't remember which pipe. No, it's not down here. See, the beauty of editing is I can play like I normally do, which is casually and to have fun instead of with competency. And I can just put in annotations and edit out with really bad stuff, so people can like skip to the stars if they want, and skip through everything if they want. I'm pretty sure there's a thing around here. Uh, by jumping on its- you kill it by jumping on its head. Okay, I'm pretty sure there was a thing back here. Well, first off, Sean, there's a acorn if you want it. I am really surprised I didn't accidentally take that. Okay, so I remember there is a thing... <laughs> okay. Uh, sorry. Whoa, what was that? Ah, three up moon? What? Two three up moons? Okay, that's pretty cool. Oh, that's a regular mushroom. It wouldn't even do anything for you. God. Ah. Here I am, trying to save your ass. Stop! No! <laughs> I was gonna get one up chains. I don't think there's even enough left. Ah. Uh. Uh, the sound is all being eaten by my computer. Hopefully, in the near future, I'll get a video box that will fix that. Oh yeah, you know what, before we leave for Thanksgiving, will you, like, actually help me spec out my computer and figure out if that one will work so I can actually order it, because I have money to spend on this. The last, uh, star coin. It might be at the top of the sky. We're gonna run out of time. No, this is the calibration mission. This is freaking World 1-1. If anyone wants me to be dead serious in World 1-1, instead of just have a little bit of jokes, a little bit of introduce the guests, the little group dynamic, um, they are on the wrong channel. Also, since the last LPs where I hoard myself out by playing a game right when it came out, like, 8 million loud people got capture devices. So... <laughs> this is stupid! Why is that okay?! Okay, um, I don't want any death. This is a no death run, so let's finish the level. Stop blocking me. Stop. 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 Ah. Uh, sorry, sorry. Oh, it's back there, maybe. Wait, there's a time limit? Yeah, there's always. Have you ever played a Mario game before? Mario Deluxe had a uh, time limit in it. Yes, it did. The time limit is so generous that it almost never comes up, unless you're being dumb. Being dumb is my middle name. Mario is casual, please disconnect. No. Okay, I am... It's back here. This is where the... Oh wait, no it isn't, never mind. What the heck? No, but that's just the thing where the last one is. Okay, well, no what, don't... Just, just press A and stay in a bubble so I can get mad one-ups and transfer them to you when you die. I spent a lot of time practicing this because this is one of the bonus missions.
It doesn't remember if you die. Oops. Nah, if I had hit the ground, I wouldn't have kept my 1-up chain. Oh well. NBD. Net movie database. And whenever I play any new Super Mario Bros. game, people get like low self-esteem and mopey because I'm so pro at it and it makes me feel really awkward. Yeah, Sean, you're special. You, you would be like this even if it wasn't New Super Mario Brothers. No, the beam pole had a block that it was specifically supposed to go into and it was just for climbing. I remember it was an underground pipe. I just... <laughs> yeah, I'd be excited to see a speedrun with this. Because you could just do ridiculous stuff. Oh god, I can break it! I'm gonna wreck it! Guys, guys, go on! Oh, what's, what's this guy? Yeah, I... I'm probably gonna have to edit this because of how... ridiculous this one thing is. Terrence, you definitely found this in the level, and I I definitely got it when I recorded it in my test recording two days ago. And now... I need that thousand points to feed my children. Yeah. Take an egg and need it. Uh, uh, press down when you're on an incline. Why on earth do I not remember this? Maybe it's one of those broken... Yeah, it's kind of funny that you can pop people who died. Look at the time! You were not going to do anything. Okay, I'm, I'm glad that I'm going to have to splice together video in the very first video. Uh,